coffee? Boy, go out of town. Look what you come back to. More coffee? Please. Miss, is something wrong? <laughs> a school nurse is a person in a position of trust. <laughs> and communities become outraged when they perceive that trust to have been violated. What are you saying? Well, the bail's outrageous for someone like Alice. How much? It's 100000 this can't be pleasant for you. <laughs> Beautiful kids. Well, what if we put up the farm? Oh, I doubt they'd accept it. It's your only asset, and they think you'll run. <laughs> what? I, I, I can argue with the judge. I can make a motion to have the bail reduced, but you got 1,400 parents in a feeding frenzy. I think we're going to have to live with this. I, uh, I've done some homework. I made it my business to get acquainted with Carol McKessie, the boy's mother. She's kind of trampy looking, which is good for us. On the other hand, she cries easily, which is not so good. <laughs> One other thing. Can you tell me about the little girl that drowned? She's in jail? No, uh, Mom, she's just been mistaken for someone else. What did you say they think she did? And uh, all I need is the uh, bail money uh, to get her out. I don't see why you should have to pay if it's a mistake. I need nine, 90000 19000 Oh, Howie, you, you know I'm very short on reserves right now. I love her dearly, but sometimes I think she brings troubles right down on her own shoulders. Mom, um, I gotta go. Uh, the girls are in the tub. Don't worry. We're over the hump on this. Howie? Howie? I'm hungry. Mommy would never let us have that. You got the loose? It's all right. Hi, Wilma. Hi, Wilma. Oh, hi, Wilma. Edgar, how are you? I like in the car. sort laundry by color and this is important <laughs> don't ever put cotton in the dryer i bought you some law books uh, i want novels i want laura ingalls wilder dostoevsky crime and punishment <laughs> i'm kidding um i have to go um and pictures of the girls and a picture of you too now remember 2 15 howard are you there i'm here What? Don't bring the girls. Okay? You've probably heard about Alice. Uh, uh, if you could watch Emma and Clara on Sunday around... Uh... Oh, I, I don't think so. And if you'll excuse me, I'm just on my way out the door. Hi, Howard Goodwin here. Uh, I'm in a kind of a bind. I just want you to know I've been praying for you. I pray for that poor child. I pray that your wife is not beyond healing. I don't know how you're going to live with her if she doesn't get better. My daughter says that your wife used to stare at the girls while they were naked in the shower after gym class. She says your wife kept moving her hands up and down her...
My girls were wondering if they could come over and help you with your chores. I know you don't know them very well, but they always look forward to when you deliver the eggs. I'll pay you. Be good, girls. See the girl next to me? Howard, don't be so obvious. That's my cellmate. She killed her kids. What? She's so fat, she didn't know she was pregnant. She gave birth to twins. Alice. The babies what? were black. And she didn't want her mother to find out, so she killed them. Alice. What? Two things. Don't ask your mother for money. Don't. I beg you. I could not face her if she had to pawn off any of her jewels. And please. Don't sell any land. But I want you out of here. They have to give me a trial in three months. I'll be home in no time. They have nothing to go on. Don't look at me as if I'm cracked. I'm not saying I deserve this. Howard, are you okay? You look sort of awful. Well, people are, um... What? People are... What are people saying? That I'm some vicious woman who runs from funerals and tortures children with rectal thermometers? I have a right to know so I can defend myself. Tell me what's being said. You know, I bet Darla Hunter's been talking. Remember the time Darla's kid and Emma took off all their clothes and played operating room and then Darla called me up and accuses me of having a sexed up house? <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it, Howard? A sexed up house. You know, I explained to her we belong to the once a month missionary position club. I'm going to write you a letter. I'm all right. How are the girls? Are you all right? Are you okay? Where are they this afternoon? Another thing. Tell them the truth as much as you can. Tell them once in a rare while people blame the wrong person for their own troubles. And tell them I hope they're going to be good. They're going to do what they... And tell them I love them. Exactly, that somebody like you fuck a kid. Because as far as I can tell, you ain't got no dick to do it with. <laughs> Unless you hide or something. <laughs> crazy. We, women people do this to we do this to each other a lot, more so than men do. Who she thinks she is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the very godmother, y'all. See? That's what I'm talking about. She don't take nothing from you. Nobody. That's why I like Oprah. I could be Oprah. Oprah could be me. Nobody had ever seen anybody that looked like me be successful. Here come Look, look, look. Look, look. Look, goddammit. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Shut your AIDS, Phil, ass up. Are you? 
Well, you better be careful before I come over there and bite your ass. <laughs> Shut up, man. Good one. Oh, please talk to these fools. Please. Please talk to these fools. If you really do feel that, that question becomes a good point. Move. You really do feel it, but they used to bother me because I just questioned myself like that. Deal with it. Well, I ain't even gonna look at him. Could I then? I wish that I had, um, pictures of my babies. <laughs> I wish there was something here I could kill myself with. <laughs> oh, don't cry, my blubbery fat elephant. <laughs> she gonna take care of that sweet, greasy, fat pussy. Leave it alone. Tell me, what'd you use? Flashlight, broomstick, big old banana? I've been accused of sexual abuse, if that's what you mean. Accused? Accused. Oh, don't tell me. You innocent, right? <laughs> hey, everybody! Grandma's innocent! <laughs> I hate that nigger. I said I hate that nigger. <laughs> Three other children have come forward. Norman Fraser, Tommy Giddings, Donna Struck. What can you what can you tell me about them? There are 700 kids at Blackwell. How could I possibly be expected to remember? Think. Think. Norman Frazier, I pulled out a tooth once. Donna struck. I remember checking her for scoliosis in the girl's shower. I just ran my hand down her back. The gym teacher asked me to. You know, I'm just an LPN. I really don't even know. And the other one, I, I don't even know who that is. Tommy Giddings. Can you think of anything else? Time's up. Okay. Okay. So, tomorrow, remember, the preliminary hearing is for discovery, if you will. It's the time for the defense to get information from the prosecution. It's the time you find out who your friends really are. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, I, I've been doing this long enough, and uh, I gotta say, I've never seen anyone take to it so well. What's your secret? Didn't you ever want to run away to a desert island?
All rise. Alice Goodwin has violated the trust of this community. She said, I hurt everybody. She said, there's wicked things I'd like to do to some of these kids. She said she'd come after me if I tattled. Stand still. I am. Hello. Anybody home? Teresa. Hi. What's this all about, Howard? Daddy. We had our papers saved. I saw the headlines. Uh, come in. Come in. How are you? I'm fine. Fine. Well, tell us always said I had a high threshold for filth and squalor. Daddy. I'm coming. It's a cherry stain. I'm trying to... Let me. Emma, take off your shirt, honey. We'll get it out. Howard, boil some water. Okay. He only got home this afternoon. I hate this country. I nearly tripped over the pile of papers in the hall, and I'm standing there reading, saying out loud, what? And who should come along? Kathleen Brooks, of course, the model Christian, making sure I've hurt the dirt. When she said Robbie McKessie, I just shut my mouth and closed the door. Emma! Let's go upstairs and get into our pajamas, okay? Hey, girl. What happened? She said I hurt everybody. That's what I love about her. She blurts out these one-liners and you want to gag her. It's so refreshing. I know. But... Uh... I can imagine why she would say that, can't you? But what if these things people are saying? It would be ridiculous. This is Alice we're talking about. to read poetry to my fellow inmates, but they probably sit on me and stuff my face with toilet paper. What's that sonnet? They that have the power to hurt, but will do none. What? It's about how great you are if you don't give in to the temptation to be cruel. You know, how noble it is to be strong and at the same time gentle. Don't you want to know how the girls are? How are they? They've been going up to Teresa's. Oh. And they like it, and I think it's good for them. Great. How is Teresa? She mind taking the girls? She feeding you? You don't have to look so sheepish. What does she bring you down? Lunchboxes with 
roast beef sandwiches and her famous fruit salad? She does. I can see it in your face. She brings you fruit salad. She makes me lunch on occasion. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm very glad. I can rest assured that you're getting the four major food groups. We have to talk about how we're going to get you out of here, okay? Now, Reverdy says... He's great, isn't he? How are we going to pay him? You think I'm innocent, don't you? Of course you do. Oh, Howard, you're just as steady as can be, and I am living in my head. I just wanted this visit to be perfect. You talk as if you're an old fart, Howard. Like you grew up in these parts and aspired to be an old fart. That's awfully nice of you to say that. Yeah, well, I meant that as a compliment. I really did. Well, I gotta get back to work, unfortunately. Not yet. I made dessert. Come here, Claire. Which one do you want? Apple or blueberry? Psst, psst. Apple. Blueberry. Very good, Claire. Blueberry. Blueberry, 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 blueberry. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey. You're home early. We're gonna go. Let me wrap up the pie. Daddy, the pie. All right. Okay, I'll be right back. Be afraid. Come on in. Hey, Debbie. I know something you don't know. You know how, and this just drives me crazy, how sometimes you just can't tell nothing by just looking at it. I'll be walking down the street past Alice here, think she was the perfect person. Now I come to find out she just like you, Fatso. She a baby killer, too. What does that mean? It's the real reason I'm here.
Being cooped up make a person feel real church-like after a while. When you go, that air feels good. I'll be dead soon. I'll be dead before Christmas. There's more to us than our bodies. It's just a hus for something that fly in the air as soon as my heart's done. Oprah, she outlive us all. That's why she my shining star. Dear girls, your paintings are beautiful. Where I am, I can't make paintings. But if you open my top dresser drawer, you'll find something I made for my mother when she had to leave me. It's a map of a make-believe world. That's nice. Thank you. I have it back. Sure. Tell you what, we can stay a little longer. <laughs> I'd miss her too much. Hello! Hello, all you white girls watching. Who think you not racist because you just love Oprah? <laughs> today, today, we are talking to baby killers. Our first guest is Debbie. She strangled her two nigger babies in the back seat of her car. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Debbie. Quiet up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our next guest is Alice. <laughs> Alice likes to drown her babies in her very own pond. Alice, Alice, Alice. Welcome, Alice. <laughs> so just a little longer, I'll, I'll carry her home. I really should go. First realize that you were a baby killer. I repeat, when did you first realize that you were a baby killer? One of the reasons I like you so much is you do all the talking. It is very restful. Oh, girl. <laughs>
さん Teresa doesn't come around anymore. If mom can't ever come home, can we go live with Teresa sometimes? So we can be with a lady? She has a family of her own. But I want Teresa. 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 Deshep beat on you, but I seen it. I seen every single move. Just when Deshep was about to get on you, you went and did it for her. You bumped over, and bam, your head goes on the table, and then you fall back on the floor and smack. Your head falls on the cement. <laughs> she didn't hurt me. No. You hurt yourself, honey bun. Keep up your strength, Miss Alice. Give me that pillow, Debbie. Here. Mm, you look like something plucked with that new hair, <laughs> girl. I don't know anyone here. Come on, come on. Come on. She can't come around today. Why not? Why not? She's sick. She's not sick. She just doesn't want to see you. Where are we going? Come on, just walk. No! Emma, come on! I hate you! Shut up! Go of me! Daddy! Let go of me! I bumped my head. Oh, you don't get bruises like that from bumping your head. I'm fine. What happened? I'm fine. Look, if you don't tell me everything, I can't help you. How is he? 
What do you think? I don't know. I haven't heard from him in days. Something is going on. I worried he's gonna go and do something stupid. She's from Milwaukee, and she wants to open up a place for underprivileged city kids to, you know, come out and have some fun and games. I don't care if she built a golf course. Well, of course, you know, extensive renovations will be required, so uh, that's why your offer will be considerably less. Look, to, to be honest with you, my sister is dying of leukemia. The medical bills, I'm sure you can imagine. Oh, I'm so sorry. So please, just make it happen. Me too. Dear Alice, I think I'd be a good used car salesman. <laughs> um, mainly because I've lost all of what you used to imagine were my redeeming qualities. I'm no longer calm or moderate. This afternoon, Emma called me a liar. Um, I'm sorry about bringing the girls. It was a mistake. Claire and Emma have learned to cry like adults. <laughs> they sit by themselves and cry without making much noise. We need you with us for plenty of reasons, but not least to gently help the girls shake off a few years so they can again have a tantrum. What a relief that will be. Howard. What kind of kids you got? What plane? What? What are their names? Dechette. I said that we were playing. How old are they? Shit. <gasps> are you missing your babies? Is, is that it? <laughs> Debbie, get some tissues. <laughs> I miss my babies, too. I have three babies at home, but they stay with my mother. She's got two. Two little girls. Don't cry, Miss Phelps. I got two babies. Just like you. Sorry I haven't come down. I haven't taken him and Claire. I felt kind of mixed up for a while. I didn't feel like I could see you. How's Alice? I've gotten a letter every day this week. She's terrified I'm gonna sell the farm. She always knows. Well, we can't stay here anymore. It's obvious. Even if she's acquitted. But you love it here. Yeah, I, I do. But more than anything, I need to get her out of there. You're a good person, Howard. Babies have nice clothes. Oh, thank you. Beautiful dress.
This is nice. I'll be able to ride my bike down the driveway. You are so lucky. Let's not all have these long faces, please. Can I have that? Oh, honey, it's yours. Plus, you need it more than I do. Barbie's dream house.